Hey guys, this is Subhas S. Mistra, your test coach. Today we will discuss a very frequently asked manual testing interview question. How will you execute all your test cases when your release date is near? So this is very much real time problem which we all face. So interviewer wants to understand how you will deal with this. Okay, so I will explain you the answer in detail. Keep watching the video till the end. One more thing, if you are very new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, then I have a long list of interview questions and tutorial videos for you. I will give you the playlist link in the video description. Please go through that. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any further notification. So the question is, if release deadline is nearby and we have to execute all our test cases, how you will do that, right? So the first thing you should perform is risk based testing. Okay. So what that means? What is risk based testing? So you should prioritize all your test cases like P1, P2 and P3 and start executing your P1 test cases first. Then you can execute your P2 and then P3 and so on. Right. So you should prioritize your test cases. You should execute first your P1, then P2, then P3 and then P4 and all. Right. So you should perform risk based testing. Okay. And the same thing you should communicate to your stakeholders and management. It is important for all your stakeholders to know the problem like release timeline is less and you are taking risk based testing approach to complete all your test execution. Okay. Then the next thing is utilize automation test cases. So if you have automation test cases, then try to utilize it to the fullest and cover all your regression testing. You can execute your automation test cases on daily basis. If there is any issue, you can find it early and same can be fixed early. So it will save lot of time of both QA and dev people. Okay. The next thing is collaborate well with your dev, business analyst, product owner or any dependent team you work. Okay. So in case of any issues, you should communicate well with developers because to make the quick fix, you can take help of your developers and you can reduce your defect turnaround time. Okay. You should also collaborate well with your product owner or business analyst in case of any feature clarification. Okay, then the next thing is plan for early feedback and a bug bash session. What it means? So you can give a demo of your application to your team. You can include your dev, you can include your BA, you can include your PO, you can include your managers. Okay, you can get the early feedback. If you will give a demo of your application, maybe you will get a early feedback of your application. Right. So you can take the feedback and you can work on that or if there is any issue, your developer can fix it. Then you can plan for a bug bash session. What is bug bash session? So basically you can schedule a meeting and invite all your team members, maybe again dev, all QAs, business analyst, managers. Okay. And it is more of a bug hunting session. So everyone will sit in a meeting room and maybe all will test your application. Okay. So as different mindset people will test the application, there is a high chance to get more and different kind of defects. Okay. So finally, you can take a note of all those issues and plan for a fix. Then the next thing is ask for more time if possible, stating the current situation. So you should convey your situation to your stakeholders and ask for more time to complete the testing. So if possible, you may get more time and that will be helpful for you. Okay. Then the next thing is plan properly and make efficient use of your working hours. So sometime it happens, you may face environmental issues or you may get downtime for your maintenance windows. So plan it properly. 
so maybe when your application is down you can prepare your test data and when it is up you can do the actual testing okay so you should plan properly your remaining days till the release timeline okay also you can ask for more resources mainly experienced people if they can help you in executing the test cases then the next thing is extended and weekend working hours so i'll say this this should be your last option okay because i have taken many interviews and asked this question to many candidates okay and i have observed most of the junior folks they gives this answer like we will work on weekends we will put some extra hours in the weekdays and we will execute all our test cases this is correct but it should not be your first option okay i'll say it should be your last option because you should perform all the above options first and still you are not able to meet the release timeline then you can go for your extended working hours or weekend works and maybe after that you can avail the comp of once your release is done after all these things one more important thing is you should do retrospect of your release because you need to understand why you are landed into a state where you don't have much time to execute all your test cases didn't you plan it properly is the release timelines are very aggressive so perform a retrospect meeting including all your team members including your po including your managers and all so you can avoid this kind of situation in future you should take some action items on your release retrospect so you will not land into this kind of state in future okay so that's all you can use all these options to achieve 100% test case execution when you have less time or you have tight schedule for your release you can explain all these points in your interview i hope this video is helpful for you thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel